And we saw a good amount of sunshine today. I hope you're soaking it in because things are going to be changing big time as we head into late weekend and into next week. We will need your umbrellas because tropical moisture increasing. This is how the uh, evening is going in Vero Beach. Mostly cloudy skies, but we are dry right now. want to show you just a few first alert weather spotter photos. Actually, let's see. Can we get back to that? Uh, it's taking us the temperatures. I'll bring that to you later. 85 right now. West Palm Beach, 84 in Jupiter, 83 Fort Pearson, 83 Vero Beach. A little bit cooler air in Okeechobee where we have seen some rain, 79 degrees. So as we take a look at your Vipercast model, you can see we're looking uh, pretty good this evening. But overnight, we could see some activity uh, developing along the coastal areas. And then continuing early Friday morning, keep in mind you might see some showers. So uh, beware of that on the roads. Then by tomorrow afternoon lunchtime showing some activity south county and the treasure coast and then activity slowly starts to push inland for the most part and your friday evening once we get past uh, the daytime heating we'll be winding things down all right let's talk tropics it's the big weather story this is the area we're watching the gulf of mexico now we're watching for an area of tropical development it only has a 30 percent chance of development but the thing is whether or not it develops into a depression or a storm, it's still going to bring us extra tropical moisture. So we're still going to see big impacts here. Hurricane Kirk out in the Atlantic is a cat four, so a very strong storm, but it's not expected to impact anyone, uh, nor is Tropical Storm Leslie. So that's good news with those two systems. Kirk will race to the northwest and then off to the north and northeast, recurving into the northern Atlantic, so not expected uh, to bother anyone. And Tropical Storm Leslie heads a little more uh, west as a major hurricane, but eventually expected to take that turn to the north. Okay, so back here at home, closer to home, I shall say, we are watching lots of showers and storms associated with an area of low pressure, a broad trough. So once it gets into the Gulf of Mexico, there is chance for tropical development, but we know we're going to see these areas of low pressure developing. So here's one in the southern Gulf of Mexico, but as we head into Sunday and Monday, another area of low pressure develops closer to home, and as you can see, we're seeing widespread moisture across the Sunshine State, and that's going to increase Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday as this tropical moisture plume pretty much goes right overhead. So uh, just keep tuned to us, and we'll let you know if we do have any flooding concerns. Uh, here's the seven-day rainfall outlook, and uh, shows anywhere from about three to seven inches, but uh, we could see more rain. We will update you each and every day. For tonight, temps going down to 77 degrees, uh, just just a few spots of lingering rain. Then tomorrow for Friday, morning showers, afternoon downpours, a high of 88. So at least we're out of the 90s. And for the boaters, seas to two to four, winds out of the east five to 10. Inland waters, a light chop. Your seven day forecast showing those temperatures uh, staying a little bit cooler this weekend. Again, Saturday, Friday, Saturday looking okay. And it's Sunday through Wednesday that we do expect those tropical rains. Well, it's time for Let's Talk Tropics. It's the big weather story. This is the area we're watching, the Gulf of Mexico. Now, we're watching for an area of tropical development. It only has a 30% chance of development. But the thing is, whether or not it develops into a depression or a storm, it's still going to bring us extra tropical moisture. So we're still going to see big impacts here. Hurricane Kirk out in the Atlantic is a cat four, so a very strong storm. But it's not expected to impact anyone, and nor is Tropical Storm Leslie. So that's good news with those two systems. Kirk will race to the northwest and then off to the north and northeast, recurving into the northern Atlantic, so not expected uh, to bother anyone. And Tropical Storm Leslie heads a little more uh, west as a major hurricane, but eventually expected to take that turn to the north. Okay, so back here at home, closer to home, I shall say, we are watching lots of showers and storms associated with an area of low pressure, a broad trough. So once it gets into the Gulf of Mexico, there is chance for tropical development. But we know we're going to see these areas of low pressure developing. So here's one in the southern Gulf of Mexico. But as we head into Sunday and Monday, another area of low pressure develops closer to home. And as you can see, we're seeing widespread moisture 
across the Sunshine State, and that's going to increase Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday as this tropical moisture plume pretty much goes right overhead. So uh, just keep tuned to us, and we'll let you know if we do have any flooding concerns. Uh, here's the seven-day rainfall outlook, and uh, shows anywhere from about three to seven inches, but uh, we could see more rain. We will update you each and every day. For Weather-wise, we started with beautiful blue skies today from Palm City, some puffy cumulus clouds, and then the skies looked ominous out west, but we didn't get any rain on this camera here in Palm City. want to show you a few weather spotter photos from today. Thank you, John Wakeman, for sending in this gorgeous photo from Hutchison Island. That's like a postcard right there. Deborah Harsh showing a sunrise this morning from Jensen Beach. Tom Byrne, beautiful blue skies this morning in Locks. Hatchie and Beverly Knight taking this uh, cloud formation there in Boca Raton early this morning. So thank you to our weather spotters uh, for being our eyes out there in the field. All right, on Viper radar, there you can see a few scattered coastal showers slowly moving on shore. So from time to time overnight, we'll see these uh, showers grazing the coastline, but not anything much more than that expected. Current temps right now, mainly mid 80s for the Palm Beach County coastline, 83 West Palm Beach, 84 Boynton Beach and 82 Boca Raton and similar temperatures for the Treasure Coast 83 in Vero Beach 82 Sebastian Indian Town 80 degrees and Wellington right now still warm 84 degrees well this is the big weather story the tropics we've been talking about this area of low pressure trying to develop in the Gulf of Mexico we believe that it will and uh, whatever it does do it will bring us heavier rain amounts as we head especially into next week week and it looks like it's going to be a prolonged time of enhanced moisture. So more on that area in one moment. Hurricane Kirk is a very strong category four. I mean, that's uh, very, very dangerous, but thank goodness it's out over an open ocean. Tropical storm Leslie right now, max winds only around 50 miles per hour, but it is expected. This is the big weather story, the tropics. We've been talking about this area of low pressure trying to develop in the Gulf of Mexico. We believe that it will, and uh, whatever it does do, it will bring us heavier rain amounts as we head especially into next week. And it looks like it's going to be a prolonged time of enhanced moisture. So more on that area in one moment. Hurricane Kirk is a very strong Category 4. I mean, that's uh, very, very dangerous but thank goodness it's out over an open ocean. Tropical storm Leslie right now, max winds only around 50 miles per hour, but it is expected to develop further in time. So let's show you the 11 o'clock advisory on Hurricane Kirk. Again, a very powerful hurricane right now, expected to continue to weaken as it pushes north and eventually down to a depression as it heads all the way toward Ireland and England and Europe. Now, tropical storm Leslie is expected to develop to a Category 3 hurricane Hurricane by Tuesday at 8 p.m., but notice how it's going to be very uh, far north and far northeast of the Windward Island, so it puts it on a path uh, that shouldn't have any impacts other than uh, large ocean swells here along the eastern uh, coastline. Back here in the Gulf of Mexico, and this is where we typically look for tropical development this time of year, we're watching for an area of low pressure to develop. In fact, two areas of low pressure look to develop, and this is the beginning of the rains on Sunday with strong storms and that tropical moisture continues uh, right through the work week, that moisture plume. 